the Federal Reserve, they went ahead and offered these very cheap loans out to the banks. They had offered $1.5 trillion, $1.5 trillion and then another uh, half trillion at the end of the week. So it turned out to be $2.5 trillion worth of loans that the Fed was offering to the banks. But the Fed is actually doing something even bigger and more remarkable now. They're offering large banks $1 trillion per day in short-term borrowing if they need it until the end of March. So $1 trillion every day can be borrowed up until the end of March. For, so for the next 10 days, the Fed is letting banks borrow whatever the hell they want to borrow in the short-term. The money market is what they call it. So that's uh, – Apparently, the banks haven't borrowed all that the Federal Reserve has offered to them, and all the loans that have, the banks have taken have already been quickly repaid. So the banks have already borrowed all the money that the Fed had offered, and they've repaid it, and they want to uh, encourage banks you know, to make short-term borrowing and make it quick and easy. That's the purpose. That's the reason why the Fed is doing this. So this is amazing, right? God, the banks are, you know, drowning. So here's $1 million worth of credit, $1 trillion, $1 trillion worth of credit. I know there's people out here, you can't even get $1,000 in America to start a business. You can't even get, you know, uh, ordinary, regular people don't have enough seating money to, you know, they're worried about short-term credit. How much fucking money do, does all these big-ass corporations and banks borrow? All these motherfuckers just keep borrowing, uh, keep stealing from Paul to pay Peter. So the Fed's been buying treasury bonds. So our bank buys treasury bonds and they buy mortgage-backed securities. So they buy, you know, loans and promissory notes. So they're buying houses. Is that what's going on? The Federal Reserve cut its interest rate to near zero. They paid $500 billion to get some brand new treasury bonds. Who's paying the $500 billion? The Fed is the government, the centralized bank for the United States government. So $500 billion, and they say, no, this was taxpayer money, which I don't even know how. How can you declare something like that? Isn't it all taxpayer money? So we bought, let's see, we, right, I'm because I'm the Fed. I'm not the Fed. I, I didn't get none of this. But the Federal Reserve has bought $500 billion worth of treasury bonds, they bought some uh, mortgage-backed securities. On Friday, they bought $75 billion, of tre uh, $75 billion worth of treasuries and $47 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities. And all told, the New York Federal Reserve, so I guess there's what, a whole bunch of Federal Reserves, they bought $280 billion of treasuries. So the $500 billion total, right? These purchases are supposed to provide more cash to the banks, which are seeing more of the corporate clients draw down billions of dollars on their credit lines. So a lot of these big, rich corporate people are just trying to take as much cash out of the banks as they can. And so they're pumping more cash into the banks, uh, I guess, because just the banks always win no matter what. The bank, they're like the casinos, right? They always win. You lose, but they win. Give a man a gun, he can rob a bank, but give a man a bank and he can rob the world. Somebody named Goldberg noted that the value of outstanding treasuries has doubled since 2010, which makes it a better deal, but banks are less willing to hold them, and that makes the treasury market less liquid. And you, you want the treasury market to be, you know, more liquid. $17 billion treasury market that's, you know, that's a big market. Everybody is in on these treasuries. If you haven't bought a treasury today, where are you at? There's $17 billion. This market is $17 billion, the largest in the world. It influences the rates for mortgages, credit cards, auto loans. And so they're trying to stabilize this $17 billion treasury market, right? The treasury market. What the fuck is a treasury? <laughs> uh, the Fed is going to loan money to banks so that banks can use the funds to purchase highly rated municipal bonds from money market mutual funds or from muni bond funds. So it's not to give more money to the American people. It's not to get the American people spending. It's not to give the American people any kind of bailout whatsoever. You're not going to get, you know, no grants, no loans. You're not going to be able to start a business, but these banks are sitting there passing, 
you know, billions and trillions of dollars amongst each, you know, amongst themselves. They keep sucking all the damn cash out of the banks, these big corporate, you know, people are. So it's just a mad dash trying to, what, just try to, you know, take as many greenbacks as possible and take all the banks' money, all the banks' cash. Incredible. It's incredible how this is how the elite get treated by banks. Meanwhile, if you get a checking account, those pricks will treat you like, a, you know, like a dick. They'll treat you like, what are you even doing here? Why are you even here? You're too poor to talk to us. We are so highfalutin. So the goal is to stabilize the 3.8 trillion muni bond market. So that that's it's not the treasury market. It's to, it's the muni bond, the municipal bond market. We need to stabilize it. It's four trillion dollars. So the municipal bond market is so much higher than just the you know 17 billion treasury market. The municipal bond market eight you know four trillion makes the treasury market look like it's just a little tiny ant. And the municipal bond market's this great big giant, $3.8 trillion. And that's what we're doing. So these banks are offering, the, the Fed is giving the banks a bunch of money, and then the banks are supposed to take the money, and they're supposed to invest in municipal bonds. So they're investment banks. Just the, is it, what about commercial? And then the money market, so we're trying to stabilize, we're giving money to the banks in hopes that they, invest in these markets and then it stabilizes those Jesus Christ insanity why don't you give all this money to the people and then just say hey American people we would love for you to buy municipal bonds we would love for you to buy treasuries and municipal bonds and stocks hell just you know pay everybody get everybody UBI get everybody a thousand dollar check here from the end of the year from now until the end of the year and tell all the American people to, you know, get invested. If they're invested in the stock market, then they would give a shit. The treasury market, the municipal bond market, I don't give a goddamn fuck about any of these goddamn markets. Just make sure the food market and the hospital market is open. That's, you know, and the gas, I guess. I mean, there's a few essential things that I need, but um, this is incredible. The Fed is doing currency swaps and currency exchanges with five central banks. So we're doing currency swaps and currency exchanges. We're trying to stabilize money market mutual funds and, and municipal bond funds. And we're pumping in treasuries and we're pumping in mortgage-backed securities. And we're going to produce a bunch more commercial paper. And we got equity stakes. We're going to try to nationalize these industries. We're going to spend $280 billion in order to get some treasuries. And we're going to uh, ask the American people to give us another $200 billion so we can build a facility. If they got $280 billion to buy treasuries, then they got $200 billion to make their commercial paper factory. So we do need to slow on the spending because it looks like Wall Street and the corporations and the 1% and the elite are all getting their hands on the American government. And if you just, you know, think about it for a second, $200 billion is what they're asking from us. All this is accounting tricks, which we're supposed to believe is going to help, you know, with the economy. But they're asking for $200 billion in a spending bill. They're begging the American people, our representatives, to give them $200 billion, the Federal Reserve. So if you just take a half a million homeless and you multiply it by $10,000 homes, which they have those 3D printing homes now, you can make a home for 10000 bucks. 500000 times 10000 that's $5 billion. We as Americans can build houses for the homeless 40 times over. 40 times over with $200 billion. $5 billion is all we need, but we're going to give $200 billion to the Federal Reserve. They got enough money. You know, they said they, you know, $500 billion is what they, uh, you know, they, $280 is what they, um, $280 billion is what they paid for in, in treasuries, but $500 billion is what they paid, you know, what they bought uh, uh, mortgage-backed securities to. So $500 billion. The Fed has money. The Fed is buying all these treasury bonds, and now they're going to turn around and look at us and say, give us $200 billion so they can build. Why didn't you use your $500 billion to build that commercial paper factory? Instead of building a commercial paper factory, instead of building another bank for the Federal Reserve, why don't we use that money to build, you know, some new hospitals or some new schools? Or how about some housing for the homeless? Any of those things would be infinitely better. Hospitals, housing for the homeless, farmers markets, maybe some ventilator masks.
vet respirators. But no, they're gonna they're gonna beg for two hundred billion dollars for a commercial paper factory. Incredible. I don't think we should give the Fed any of that money, and I think we need to audit the Fed because they need to open up their damn books. How is the Fed operating under the you know dark of night? We have no idea what the Fed is even up to. All this shit we're supposed to believe is supposed to help the economy, or it's a bunch of rich fuckers trying to just, you know, uh, bleed the economy dry and take all that they can, and then fuck the American people over. Who cares? You didn't know, right? Just like our representatives. Just like Diane Feinstein, right? She buys and sells all these stocks. Of course they're capitalists. That's who's invested in Wall Street. Our government. Our government is invested in Wall Street. And they saw Wall Street was about to go down, so they did, you know, the smart thing. They, they sold their stock before it crashed. Now they're millionaires. They're geniuses. Isn't that smart? Isn't that a good... This is... Anyways, you know, $200 billion, we could build, you know, 40 times the housing that we need for the homeless. So we could get 40 houses for every homeless person with $200 billion. Two hundred billion. Everybody keeps talking about trillion here, trillion there. So it's you know starts to not feel like real money after a while, but it is real money. Two hundred billion can build forty houses for every single homeless person we have in America. But instead of doing that, instead of giving a shit about one another, because right now that's the homeless population and the prison population and these crews. In fact, skyscrapers, communities, towns, everywhere. God, anywhere there are mouth breathers. If you are breathing, right, I mean, that's, you could put people inside their houses, but that means that household is, you know, in danger. And then maybe that community and that neighborhood, and then who's going to, you know, what if they die, and then the, the people that have to take care of their bodies. Oh, God, this could drive you crazy if you just thought about it, you know, all day long. <laughs> so what the, what the fuck is the Fed up to? And why would we agree to give him $200 billion? I don't agree to it. I don't want it. So, yeah, that's my two cents. Anyways, John Masters, South Central Colorado, March 21st, 2020. Peace!